If I would have told you six months ago, Bill is going to coach again, and it's going to be college, you would have said what? (laughs) I would have said, I'm not coming on your show because that's ridiculous. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, good to see you. I I think this is really interesting. And um, we've all been wondering, like, you know, what desk, where he would land, right? Because he made clear to everybody that he was coach, he was going to coach in 2015. And or 2025, no matter what the situation was, he was going to coach. Everyone assumed he would be the NFL. And each week since the start of the NFL season, he and his former Patriots assistants, a a cluster of them, all of whom are not working right now, would get on Zooms and go through every game, every team, every situation, every roster move, contract, scheme, trend, the type of like football deep dives that only they could do. And it was all about the NFL. The subtext of it all was what teams are going to have openings, what teams might consider Bill and what teams would Bill like to work for. And then about halfway through the season, some of that shifted and it college teams added onto it where he wanted to dissect certain programs, study certain um, schools. And I think that, when you when you look at the frequency with which he visited colleges this season and then the fact that North Carolina really, really wants him. It's been a while since he's probably felt wanted to coach football. Um, I think that's why the, this makes a makes it a good fit. But, man, it, I, I was I was definitely surprised by it. OK, is he running from the NFL or running to North Carolina? Great question. I think a little bit of both. Um it's unclear whether he would have gotten a job this year. They went through all the scenarios in terms of what they thought he might be able to get. And remember, a lot of this is kind of a, a weird aside, but a lot of the, the back channel communication that owners might have with reps or camps with protect with prospective coaches has really dried up because of the Brian Flores lawsuit, which is now in its second year. Um it's still ongoing, his discrimination lawsuit. So no owner really wants to get caught telling a coach that he's the guy. So let's look at some of the situations. With the Giants on paper that made, you know, that looked like a natural fit, but Belichick actually, you know, thinks Brian Dayball should continue on as the coach there. And I don't think he wants to take over for Dayball. The Jets are a non-starter. The Cowboys, you just don't know if Jerry Jones values coaches that much. The Jacksonville Jaguars could have been a fit, but was it a perfect fit? And then you have college where I think that like Belichick, there was something about the challenge in doing something new that was invigorating for him. I had no idea about his sort of reverence for the University of North Carolina, but um, I think that's why it all kind of kind of makes sense. And I think that like, you know, he's been disenchanted and frustrated with like what he perceives is the NFL becoming more political, more crowded at the top. It's harder to run teams. And as someone familiar with his thinking said, this is a big FU to the NFL going to college. Of course, the NFL gave him a big FU, you know, about a, about a year ago when he they had seven job openings and he didn't get any of them. 